My guest tonight, a very funny comedian whose new HBO special is called Louis C.K. Shameless. My body's just falling apart, man. I got tits now, too. I just got tits. And that is a f***ed up day in a man's life. When you look in the mirror and you realize, I got because you don't see them coming. They're sort of pouting out a little by little. And then one day they just fall a little and that's it. You have tits. And they're there for good. They're not going to like go back. It's over. That's the thing is that I'm 39. I'm not going to get better now. I'm not going to be all ripped when I'm 48. It's over. It's this or a lot worse for the rest of my life. Please welcome Louis C.K. I'm gonna say something to you. Okay. And I've known you for I've known you for a lot of years. Yeah, that's true. I think you have really nice tits. Thank you. Thank you. Really nice. Well, you know, when they came in, I had all these weird feelings. They came in? Yeah. Well, when I looked in the mirror after a shower and I saw them, I think it must have been a light. It's the only moment that a 12-year-old girl and a 40-year-old man have in common, I think, is. I hope it's the only moment. Nothing they have in common. How are you, though? I haven't I'm seen right. you in, in a little bit and since the, yep. the holidays and the new year. And yes. uh, How was Kwanzaa? The, uh, <laughs> the, for me, the holidays uh, were awful. Uh, oh. Yeah, they were terrible. Because I have a family. And uh, <laughs> holidays are supposed to be for families, but they're, they're for single people. They go to parties and get drunk and late and stuff like that. For, <laughs> for us, it's just awful. First of all, well, starting with New Year's Eve, which with, with Dick Clark and the stroke face counting it down, which oh, was just unfair. No, Get off the TV! No, I'm, don't don't say blame that. him for having a stroke, but he's no longer qualified to count down. The whole point of Dick Clark is that he's the same every year. It's the same guy, he, and you go, hey, New Year's is just a ticking clock. It's nothing. But now it's like, I'm gonna melt into a blob. <laughs> the world is ending. Stop doing I wish him a long life at private in his home, not on the TV. <laughs> that is the point. What, is he our Dorian Gray? Is it not? Can't we not? Uh, uh, isn't it, it wonderful to see a man overcome and still come on no, and, no. and be with <laughs> no, Ryan it would be like, Look, if, if Derek Jeter had a stroke in his young years, uh, it would Derek be... Derek Jeter? <laughs> yeah, I'm just picking a guy. <laughs> It Derek be... Jeter plays shortstop for the Yankees. Dick yes. Clark just has to count. No, I know, but he didn't even... Right, you I... and I will never agree on the no, Dick Clark we won't. thing. we won't. This is where we draw that, the line as friends. That's right. That's right. And this, I find that the yeah. family, what about the joy in the children? Well, that's Two and a half years old, the that's, joy that's in the changed. children. Because it used to be Christmas was Santa brought a toy and the kid opened it and it was like a carved wooden horse. And, you know. <laughs> What was that when you were in the pioneer days? Yeah, I believe right. that was. That's right. When that's you what were heading Christmas... west to Homestead. That's right. That's what Christmas used to mean. But now it's, why did Santa bring me a doll encased in this plastic that nobody can open this awful, and you can cut it from bottom to top. You're not even close to opening it. And it's cutting your, and the baby is like in this S&M tied to the, you know, like just hog tied baby with this cord around its neck. And yes. it's all the kids are just waiting. The parents are like, we're open this thing! <laughs> just losing it. And it starts a fight with the, you're not, you do it then. You do it. You open the <laughs> thing. You open it. You, you, you shouldn't have bought the Apple ball gag Barbie. Yeah, I know. You should have bought yep. the one from, uh, yeah. but don't you take any pleasure in their uh, Joy, you as the, the, the father, the superhero figure in the household? Well, I mean, I got, I've got two kids now. I've got a daughter. Don't say it like that. Well, I've, I've got a daughter and another, uh, another <laughs> daughter. And <laughs> they... That's so not right. Look, here's what happened. This is on tape. I know. One of my daughters forgot how to sleep, like a week ago. She just forgot how to sleep. That's tough. She doesn't sleep anymore, and that has an effect. Yes. On everybody. Yes. First of all, I don't love her anymore. <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> don't even say she's that. awful. No. Do not care for that one. Because when she's not sleeping and it changes everything, the way you think, the way I understand things I didn't used to understand. Like the whole babies in the garbage thing, I totally no! get it now. That's I it. totally all get right. it. No, right. I do. You're done. I'm not saying I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm staying right here. We're going. Sit down. Sit down.
I'm just saying, I used to see that on TV and I'd go, oh my God, and now I go, well, sure you did, I understand. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. I would never throw my daughter in the garbage right, because she's... Nice. She's four, she would just crawl out and follow me home. It wouldn't be... <laughs> nothing would be Louis accomplished. Louis C.K. Shameless, premieres on HBO January 13th at 10 p.m. Louis C.K. That's not nice!